Hey everybody, what's going on? My name is Austin and today it's time for a brand new video. Today I'll be going over how to actually use OBS to record your screen, if you want to do video game footage, computer tutorials, any of that stuff. So this is an update video as you can tell if you have if you were brought here from the old video. I just want to let you know that this has some extra fixes that the old video didn't have. As well, I have made an entire video dedicated to just troubleshooting OBS tips. And that will be in the description and maybe in the comments as well. If you want to actually read the comments for any sort of updated information or updated videos, definitely check the pinned comment. I'll always have some guidance there. So let's get started. First of all, you're going to buy or sorry, download OBS. It is completely free. It's an awesome, awesome free tool. You can download it here for Windows, Mac or Linux. It's a really, really awesome program and it is 100% free. There's no, none of this watermark stuff, free trials. It is a 100% free program that you can use to stream as well as record your screen. Today, I'll just be talking about recording. So you're going to want to install that and you're going to get this window here, or actually you're going to get something a bit similar. So first off, you're probably going to have end up or start, start off with a black screen similar to this. So what you want to do is you want to go to file and we're going to just settings at the very beginning. So you theme, I like going to the dark theme because the default theme is really bright and it hurts my eyes. So we'll go with the dark theme for now. Then you want to go to the video tab or sorry, you want to go to the output tab, change the output mode at the top from simple to advanced, go down to the recording tab below. And this is where you want to make some major changes. So first of all, you want to make sure your type is just set to standard. Nothing fancy there. Uh, your recording path is where you're actually going to save your file too. So I like to save it to I have a folder on my secondary hard drive called PVR, which is where I store all my footage. I recommend you do something kind of the, uh, kind of similar to that. You can store it to your desktop if you want. If you click browse, you can choose where you want to store it to. I'll be storing it to my storage drive um, that I have plugged in here. Next up here, we have recording format. Uh, we're using MP4, but if you are having issues recording, I recommend trying FLV as well. So do MP4 by default. It usually works quite well, usually. Um, next up here we have audio tracks and this is a big deal that OBS has so basically if you're recording a video game for example and you have your microphone chat or you're like you speaking to the microphone you have your actual game audio you have your friends on a different audio channel you can actually separate them so you can increase and decrease the volumes uh, separately so instead of just having one audio track for, with everything like your mic uh, your gameplay and your friend's volume and increasing and, in and decreasing increases all of those volumes and decreases all of them at the same time. Having s multiple audio tracks allows you to increase, for example, game audio and decrease your friend's voices, for example, if you were to have a type of setup. This is one of the huge pros of using, D or using OBS over programs like Fraps, using programs over Camtasia, because if you have multiple audio inputs, you can have different audio tracks. I'll be going over how to use these at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. So for me, I'm only gonna be using two audio tracks, that's all I really need. So I'm gonna need two things. I'm gonna need my desktop audio and I'm gonna need my actual microphone. So I'm only gonna select audio track one and audio track two. Next up here we have encoder. Now depending on your computer, you might have some different encoder options. I like to always go X264, but if you have an Nvidia graphics card, you might have one that goes by the name of Nvidia something. And if you have an AMD, you might have something that goes along the names of like AMD uh, pro or AMD processing or something along those lines. You can experiment around with those, but I usually use the stream encoder or X264. Now, make sure you don't rescale output. Uh, now you want to go down to right control, change that to CBR. CBR stands for variable bit, or sorry, CBR stands for constant bit rate, and VBR stands for variable bit rate. Uh, th those are the two most common ones used, but I really recommend using CBR over VBR, mainly because that means the bit rate changes up and down, and you can have audio desync issues. Just keep it with CBR, it's just so much, so much easier to work with. Uh, next up here is bit rate. Now, your computer is going to be completely different from mine. That's the thing where you have to experiment with this to see what works. The higher the bit rate, the higher the quality of your video, but the more performance issues your computer will face. If you're playing a video game and you have a really, really high bit rate, there's a chance that you'll actually experience lag and frame drops. If you experience frame drops, you have to lower the bit rate. So what I recommend you do is, first of all, you first install uh, the OB uh, OBS, start with the bit rate of 7500, do a test record. See how it goes. If it's laggy, drop it down to 5,000. If it's super smooth, they don't experience any lag, move it up. Move it up to, let's say, 10,000. And then, 10,000. Then keep incrementing by maybe like 2,000 bit rate until you get the max, max quality you can get without getting performance issues in your game. So that's how bit rate works. Everyone's computer is different. I know people that run like 50,000 bit rate. I run about 35,000 most of the time. For this video, I'm just gonna run a 7500 just because I'm already recording recording. And when I do a test record, that can be very, very hard on the computer itself. But you wanna experiment around for your computer because your computer is very different from mine. Um, next up, we have CPU usage preset is another big thing you wanna look at. Basically, 
the slower your computer is, the faster you want to have um, this. So by default, it'll be on very fast. But if you have a very, very old computer and you're, and you're having issues with frame rate, for example, you can change it from very fast to super fast and even up to ultra fast if you're really, really having issues recording. Uh, if you have a very, very good, good PC and you've already maxed the bitrate as much as you can, you can actually go down and change it from very fast to faster, fast, medium, slow. So basically how this works is the better your computer is, the slower you go. And then, you know, the slower your computer is, the faster you go. So uh, that's how this works. So obviously, if you have a very slow computer, you want to use ultra fast. Makes sense. So I'm leaving on very fast now by default. And we're pretty much good to go when it comes to uh, recording stuff. So now let's actually go to the audio tab. And this is quite important. You want to change your sample rate from 44.1 to 48. It just sounds better. Uh, I like to do mono, but you can do stereo if you want to. Depends on what your setup is like. If you want to have the left and right ear cup separate, that depends on what game you're playing. Uh, for tutorials like this, I don't care. I only want mono audio. There, there's no footsteps going on. This is in CSGO. I'm recording my screen teaching you how to use OBS. So I'll just be using mono for tutorials like this. Now, next up, we have a desktop audio device. This, this is what OBS is going to pick up by default for your desktop audio or game audio if you're playing a video game. Now, uh, it'll be set on to default by default, but you may want to actually adjust that. If you're not too sure what your actual uh, desktop audio output is, you want to go to the bottom right corner of your screen, right click the volume icon, go to open volume mixer, or sorry, uh, right click go all, uh, open sound settings, and then you want to go and choose your output device. So for me, I'm going to be using an Astro Mixamp Pro. That's what I use for my headset and all my desktop audio, but you want to try and find what you're using here. Next up is you want to go to input as well. Input's going to be what is your actual input that you're using to record. So for me, I'm going to be using a blue Yeti. And as you can see, that's already selected here. Microphone, Yeti, stereo microphone. And now what you want to do is make sure that these two are the ones that you want to be using to actually record with. And make sure that they're actually in your OBS settings. So as you can see, the desktop audio device uh, is default, which is, I, I might as well just go ahead and say uh, earphone Astro Mix Amp Pro, that makes sense. And then you have a mic auxiliary audio device. I have microphone, which is the Yeti stereo microphone. So we're, we're getting there, we're, we're getting there. Next up, we want to go to video. Basically, you want to record in the resolution that you're currently playing the game in. So to see your computer resolution, you want to go on your desktop, you want to right click, go to display settings, and a window will pop up in a second. Uh, next up, so we want to have a look and see what your actually resolution is. I'm running 1920 by 1080p because my two, both my monitors are full HD, but yours might be different. Now, what I recommend you do is make sure that these two resolutions are always the same. So if I'm if my base cam resolution is 1920 by 1080p, I want to output or scale it to 1920 by 1080p. I recommend you don't try and scale it to odd, bizarre resolutions. Then you get black bars. If you want to stretch it for your actual YouTube video and make it fill the screen, it'll just look odd. The proportions will be off. I recommend if you have the ability to um, record in the exact same resolutions. So if, you're if you have 1920 by 1080p, output in 1920 by 1080p. If you have 1280 by 720p, do I have to do that? Then you want to go output scaled to uh, 1280 by 720p. That's how it works. Just make sure they're both the same. Um, so I'm going to keep that up 1920 by 1080p because that's what I like to record at. Downscale filter. This is uh, how you can actually increase quality. Um, Langsos has the best quality. Bilinear has the worst. Uh, th this will increase your file size. These file sizes are already very, very large. So if you want to have a very, very large file size and you're A-OK -okay with that, you're okay with having a much higher quality, you want to go to Langsos. But if you're running short on the computer hard drive space, I recommend you stick with Bilinear. I like to use Langsos because I have a large external hard drive. You can adjust your frame right here by common FPS values. You can, you can change that anywhere from 10 all the way up to 60. If you're recording some really high action games, try and do 60. But of course, the more frames you have, the more of a performance hit your computer takes. As well, you're also going to have more, um, uh, much larger file size. So that's why I like to stick to 30 for the most part. But well, we'll leave that on 30 for now. Last thing you want to do is hotkeys. These are buttons you can press if you want to record. I personally don't use them too often. Like the start, stop recording. I can, I, I can use any key here. I can use backspace. I can use the L key if I want. I like to use F10 because it's not often used in many video games that, and, and whenever I do play them. So uh, just keep in mind, if you do want to use hotkeys to record, to start and stop your recording, if you're on a laptop, you have to hit the function key and F10. Because usually on a laptop, the F, the F keys are used for like screen brightness or a backlight and backlighting on your keyboard, etc. So if you actually want to um, use the function keys as a hotkey to start or stop your recording, I rec uh, keep in mind if you're on a laptop, you have to hit function and the F key at the exact same time. 
keep that in mind. Uh, so that pretty much that uh, works for the most part. Let's go to, if you go to advanced, you can also change some other things as well. Um, general process priority. I like to go to above normal, so it'll get extra processing power. Um, YUV color space under the video. You can change that from 601 to 709. That means you're going to have more colors, but you're also going to have a larger file size. You're going to hear that quite often throughout this video. Color range, partial or full. Full has a much larger file size. Uh, that pretty much covers it for the most part, so you can just hit apply when you're done and hit OK. Now let's actually make our first scene. So to make your first scene, you want to go to the bottom of the corner under the Scenes tab, click on the plus icon, and enter the name of the scene. So we're going to call this uh, Test Scene um, 3. Sure. Or Test Scene 1. Test Scene 1. So here it is under Scenes. Make sure it's selected, and now let's start adding our sources. So you want to press the... Let's say we want to record um, Minecraft, for example, right? All right? Let's launch Minecraft here, quick. I haven't played Minecraft in several years but it's still on my computer, so we'll use that for an example today. All right, so now as you can see here, I've got my Minecraft window open, and now I'm gonna use OBS to record it. So first things first, you wanna go to the OBS tab, make sure your new scene is selected, go to the sources, then press the plus icon, you wanna go click add. Now you wanna try and add something to record the game Minecraft. So you can do a couple things, you can use a game capture a source, or you can use a window capture source. I'm gonna use a game capture source for now. Click it, I'm gonna call it Minecraft okay now you want to go to mode capture specific window window I'm gonna look for oh Java it's been a while okay well <laughs> Java W that's perfect as you can see it shows up on the screen here <coughs> you want to hit okay so as you can see since my Minecraft window is currently not full screen it's gonna show up on whatever resolution it is on this OBS tab. So as you can see in the preview, we said it's so that we're recording at, 10, at 1920 by 1080 p This window here is not at 1920 by 1080 p It's only at that resolution if I'm actually in full screen mode. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm not gonna put it in full screen mode because you guys won't be able to see what I'm actually doing. So uh, if you have this issue, what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that fits full screen. So you can simply just right click onto the preview uh, unselect lock preview. You can simply just drag the window to fit the screen. Then you can lock preview once again. It's quite straightforward. So now we have our Minecraft window open. We're pretty much good to go. Uh, next item we actually need to add is going to be our audio. So we're going to go to the plus icon. You want to go to audio input capture. Now, audio input means that it's going to be a microphone. So there's audio going coming into the computer, right? So let's go, let's call this. Uh, we actually just go to add existing because it'll already be there. We already have uh, enabled our mic or auxiliary audio device, so we can select it. Hit OK. And now we have a mic auxiliary selected. Now what we would want to do is also want to add gameplay audio, obviously. So we go to audio output capture. We want to go to add existing desktop audio. Hit OK. And now we're pretty much good to go. So the uh, last thing we want to do to make sure is click on the little gear under the mixer tab. Under either mic or mic slash aux or desktop audio. Either or they both work. Go to properties. Or sorry. Go to advanced audio properties. My bad. And then make sure that the two tracks are separate. Like I said, I always like to separate my game audio from my actual microphone audio so that I can increase them both independently of one another in case one is too loud and one is too quiet. So mic auxiliary I'm going to have on track one and desktop audio on track two. If I have them both selected like this, this is problem. That means desktop audio is going to be outputting its audio onto the first and second track. We want it to be separate. We want mic audio to be independent on just track one and you want the desktop audio to be independent on just track two so make sure that there's no overlap between any of your actual audio tracks click cl close when you're done now we're good to start recording so let's actually just uh go to minecraft here let's go to single player i think i have a world from the last time i did a tutorial several months ago and when we are good to go we can actually start recording so uh give it a sec to load like i said recording and recording is not the easiest thing to do uh, what you want to do here is, first of all, let's actually start recording. So I said I've already selected F10 to be my hotkey. So I can press the hotkey and we'll start recording. Uh, I'm going to press it in 3, 2, 1. As you can see, we're now recording. If you go to the OBS tab here, you can clearly see that the recording icon, it, it's going up from 5, 6, 7 seconds. We have our frame rate that we're recording at right now and CPU, CPU usage. So we can run around, break a block. Perfect. It, it's kind of laggy, I know, recording, recording. And when we're done, we can hit the uh, F10 again to stop the recording, three, two, one. And our recording is now officially done. It's gonna be saved to my PVR folder. So let's go and find that folder right quick here, and let's see what we can do. 
All right, so here's our file. As you can see, 10.55 p.m. It's all done. It's all made. No issues. 20 seconds in length. That sounds about right. But there's a couple issues, first of all, I need to tell you about. So if you just want to view the file, it's actually have some issues with Windows Media Player or Windows Movies or VLC Media Player. The main problem being that since our uh, clip or your clip might not have this if you choose not to use multiple audio tracks. But if you do use multiple audio tracks, you're going to have some issues. Uh, a lot of these media players don't actually work or they're not compatible with video clips that have multiple audio tracks. So if you have multiple audio tracks on for your on your video, they'll only hear one of them at most. They won't hear the second or third track, which means that you'll, they'll only hear gameplay audio or they'll only hear your voice, etc., which is kind of a problem. Although they are actually embedded in that file, they uh, it just won't be sh won't be played unless you put it into a video editor, whether that's Adobe Premiere, Sony Vegas. There's a lot of awesome video program or video editing programs out there that do have support for multi tracks. So uh, you want to definitely have a look at that. All right, so here I've actually lowered up my favorite video editing program. I like to use Sony Vegas because it's very very simple. I've been using it for about eight years now. What I want to do here is I want to actually send my video clip. I'm going to drag it into the um, uh, project media. And I'm going to drag it into the timeline here. Yes. And as you can see, we have two distinct audio tracks. We have the top track being my voice. As you can see, we're now recording. If you go to the OBS tab here, you can clearly see that. The and then we also have the game audio down below on this blue track here. Round break a block. Perfect. So I can turn off my voice completely and leave on the Minecraft audio. Or I can turn off the Minecraft audio completely and leave on my voice over so top. we can run around, break a block. It's very, very convenient. So I can increase levels of each layer independently, which is one of the huge, huge reasons why I love OBS. All right, this finish wraps up this video. So if you are having problems with OBS, I do have a video in the description of this going over my top 10 potential solutions to OBS crashes or black screens. That is a very common issue with this program. I've got 10 potential solutions for you. So go check that out down in the description if you're having issues. Also, uh, if you are having any comments, questions, concerns, leave them all down in the comments. I I do read my comments on a daily basis so if you need to if you do need a hand with anything please leave it all down there uh i'll do my absolute best to answer as soon as i possibly can if this helped you anyway but please a like rating would be much appreciated work i spent a lot of time making these videos so any type of feedback is highly appreciated subscribe for more creator centric content like this to help you uh you know succeed on youtube and i'll see you guys soon